Thanks. We'll start with you tonight. Um, what's it like, first off, you coming back home after your emotional win on Saturday, and then you come back at, 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 at ETSU, and you come home and you face a team that you handled pretty easily on the road, uh, but won by a big margin. But you know you're trying to kind of build off some momentum, but also that was kind of a that was a thing where it was already an emotional week for everybody around here last week, and then you have a, a comeback like that facing a team that you had handled pretty pretty well the first time. What's it like trying to refocus now that you're back at home? Um, and how do you think the night went as you went along? Yeah, I mean I definitely think we grew as the night went along. We probably started off a bit slow to our standards, but I mean the main thing is just. Us, as, us two as leaders, we just got to make sure the guys are not looking at the opponent, looking at um, whoever the opponent is. We're, we're coming out and doing the same thing, and we're just playing to our standard. And I think we did that as the game went on. And, you know, it was a classic from a box score where multiple guys in double figures and multiple guys contributing. And I thought, you know, we had multiple guys, at least five guys, who were out there um, contributing at a high level, especially Ben, Garrett, late. And so, I mean, I think as the game went on, we uh, showed that we were able to, you know, play to our standard. Um, JP, obviously, uh, we know what Cooper can do on the defensive end, but like, he looked more into the flow of the offense tonight. Can you just talk about how he's kind of learned as he's gone along? Man, uh, Cooper, he's been doing a great job, honestly. You know, we're super proud of him uh, to be a freshman and come in and you know produce at the level that we need him to. Yeah, you know, it can be a lot of pressure on a, on any you know typical freshman, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, we trust him. We instill that trust in him. We know that he's going to make mistakes along the way. But his progress has been tremendous. Just uh, being a elite rim protector on the glass, just doing all the little things, just helping us win. So uh, big credit to him. Uh, JP, it looked like tonight you had more uh, like opportunities for three. It seemed like y'all, y'all, I don't know if y'all hit y'all's goals on pass wise, but y'all, and you had eight assists. Carter had seven, so you had a pretty good amount of assists. Um, what was, is that kind of just? Was the game plan? Was it how they were defending? Where you had more three opportunities per chip, and you also had a bunch of assist opportunities as well. Yeah, honestly, I think uh, you know the standard, kind of like Mark said, it doesn't change around here. You know, we want to be great teammates, and move the ball, and fly around on D. Those are our typical main three things that we know if we do at a high level, we'll get pretty good results. So I mean, I feel like the ball movement, like you said, it was there tonight. Um, you know, credit to me, Carter, and Mo, everybody. Pretty much everybody got touches. We got a lot of open looks, like you said. And some went down and some didn't. But uh, you know, when you when you have a guy with Carter like seven assists and I had eight assists and just multiple guys moving the ball, you're probably gonna get good results. It seemed like there were two you had a couple back to back during that stretch run where y'all really took man and that you just kinda of feeling it on those two? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, uh, the first one I hit, uh, I think it was a uh, just a simple, you know, in transition, Carter punches the gap, he throws it to me. I shoot a three, you know, that kind of got me feeling good. And those are energy plays, you know, the simple ones in transition that can dem demoralize the team, but can also energize the team on offensive end. Um, Marcus, uh, another, I guess, big night for you, as well as the team rebounding wise, uh, 51 rebounds, uh, you're plus 12. Just talk about uh, just the collective effort of this team on the board, just particularly the offensive glass. Yeah, I mean, Coach did a good job getting on us at, during halftime, telling us that we needed to crash. Specifically, me, I needed to uh, do a job, do a good job showing the guys like intensity on the offensive end, crashing the boards. And I think everyone took that me message to heart, and, and we showed that we were going to be relentless on the old boards, and that definitely gave us a spark. Like you talked about, just making dagger plays, like those are back making plays when you're able to go and get an offensive rebound, kick out for three, or get an offensive rebound, put back and one. Like those are those are huge momentum swinging plays, and. You know, we just we just want to be a better rebounding team because we know that we struggle there at times, and that's going to be a big part of our success down the um, road. So we just want to show that we can rebound. Along the same lines, like you said, you really got the message after halftime because I think y'all were getting out rebound the first half, mm -hmm. and then they ended up with 51. And obviously, um, you had a lot to do with that. Ben Vanderwall had a bunch to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you can see in him? I, I kind of noted tonight how much your offense has grown throughout your time, but you you got to play here early on because of your defense has always been rock solid. Can you kind of see anything similar in the way Ben plays and the way he rebounds at, at kind of what what when he was <laughs> your age when he yeah, started saying? I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple. I think he just makes winning plays. I mean, he's definitely a, a huge spark plug for us because he's always going to do the dirty work, and we know what we're going to get from him every time. He's always going to play his hardest. He's always going to do the things that we need him to do, which is today rebounding, cutting, just making great plays, making winning plays, and, and that's what he did tonight. He was defensive player of the game for us today, 
And I mean, we're really proud of him. He had a double double. I mean, that's huge versus any any opponent. And so, just proud of him. And I think he he's doing a great job, and he'll have a, a great career here.